Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm John and I'm following Renan on the Husqvarna EE5. So, this bike, right off the bat I'm gonna tell you is absolutely amazing. And I've uh, done quite a bit of videos about it, exclaiming my amazement. We've been here riding for a couple days now in uh, upstate New York on the Pennsylvania border. And I'm on my Honda Trail 125. And this is like kind of a chase bike, basically, to run in right now. So the, uh, the bike so far, the EE5, has been absolutely phenomenal up here in the uh, mountains in the rocky, muddy terrain of upstate New York here. So that's basically what we're gonna do in this video is highlight the uh, how well this bike tears through this terrain and how easily it uh, handles everything we've thrown at it so far. And then we're even gonna do some pretty extreme things with it involving some mud and some water. So uh, let's follow along and uh, start highlighting some of the things about this bike that make it so incredible. So the first little challenge we're going to come up to here is a uh, moderately steep incline that's uh, pretty rocky. All right, so I'm telling them that we're coming up to that rocky hill climb. So why don't you go ahead and go blast up it. You can go as fast as you want. Okay. All right, so he's in mode three. <laughs> and I'm struggling for traction here. He's already halfway up. And there he goes. Keep going, keep going all the way. He just absolutely blitzed. He's <laughs> in mode three, which uh, is half of the modes it's got. Absolutely crushed it. That wasn't too hard for you, was it? It wasn't. <laughs> it was hard for me. So the electric, it just has all the uh, torque in the world right away. It just puts the power down immediately. There's no gears. There's no centrifugal clutches to worry about winding up. And you know, there's, I just can't see like uh, the Cobra Junior that we had before this, or even the. Uh, two-stroke gas-powered Huskies and KTMs being able to do this type of woods riding with this type of ease and not to mention like between that bike being virtually silent and this bike being virtually silent for a gas-powered bike we're like really just leaving a small trace up here in the woods I mean we can sneak around and ride all day and we're even behind the campsite right now and chances are they probably don't even know we're up here so that's extremely important in my opinion too and a really excellent feature of the electric bike the suspension on uh, these bikes are absolutely amazing too and that certainly helps put the power down as well add in the lightweight of the chassis and the, uh, the electric motor and uh, it really just makes for an excellent bike going through the rough stuff in the woods and we haven't even shown you the rough stuff yet so that's what we're gonna get up to all right so now we're starting to come in to some of the mud and sloppy stuff here that we found and uh, this is not the EE5's first time through here <laughs> we, Renan has been enjoying going through this nasty stuff. So he's going through some pretty big sloppy stuff right now. Big fun for a little kid. He's got one of the most capable machines for his size. So you can hear my bike struggling. Basically just spinning my not too knobby rear tire and he's just powering through it with ease okay you guys challenging some more 
mud and uh, you might be noticing that he's going through a fair amount of water too. So there's a lot of concern about this bike and getting wet and uh, I had my fair concerns about it too when I first got it and washing it especially. But um, on this trip we've, uh, we've gotten the bike pretty mud soaked on each one of these rides that we've done and I've washed the bike off after each one of the rides and charged it and I haven't had any trouble at all it's uh it's been absolutely flawless and um, that's exactly why I got the bike so that was the biggest reason I got away from the Cobra Junior and the gas powered bikes is because we don't exclusively race you know we do a lot of types of riding including this sort of stuff and uh yeah you know, I wanted a bike that has as little maintenance as possible going into that fast 50s size class and um, this bike was uh, was definitely the ticket so got one more little challenge for you coming up here that I think you'll enjoy and uh, hopefully that shows you how good this Husqvarna EE5 is in the woods and the nasty stuff here and uh, I really am looking forward to maybe someday taking him to a, a woods race or a hare scramble with this bike because I just really think it's going to be excellent. There he goes over a little log. Stand up. Pop a wheelie over it. You made it. He's actually fell on this the first time over but he's traversed it several times now and as you see me having trouble with it <laughs> so hopefully we'll go through some hair scrambles in our future and now you see him here giving a little rinse down in this uh, little shallow creek So we'll do this creek crossing, or this creek traverse one more time and uh, show you that it's very much possible to go in some water with the EE5. Just being a little bit more conservative about, yeah, go ahead and I'll follow you. Just be a little bit conservative about the depth of the water and I wouldn't say submerge it over the, uh, the motor and the electronics. But as you can see, you know, just small creeks and puddles and stuff are not going to be a problem for this bike and the only things that uh, he's going to roost me don't just push it push it over there you go See how rough this is by my bike's reaction to it. All right, so we're just taking a little dry down, dry run here, I guess, after uh, that muddy and wet adventure. And uh, hopefully that solidifies your uh, fears and uh, gives you a little bit of insight as to what the uh, EE5 can go through as far as muddy and wet stuff. So thanks for watching. And uh, as far as the EE5 goes, it's an absolutely phenomenal bike. I'll say it again and say it every time that this bike is totally worth the money. And for a parent like me that's not looking to, uh, that's not looking to go hardcore racing and just give their kid something reliable and solid to ride, this bike is absolutely perfect. So uh, thanks for watching again and. Uh, Hope you guys pick up an EE5 or SXE5 or Gas Gas MC E5 for yourselves. All right.
see you on the next one.